Good afternoon, everyone. We finally have all of our new releases in. So we are starting the day off with 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. This is random team break number one. As you can see, the next one uh, is already in the store. So one and two are already sold out, and you can see that the next ones are already in the store. So for random team break number one, it's a four-box half-case break. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. We only sold uh, 28 spots because we combo some teams. The Orioles and the Cubs are comboed. And the Cardinals and the Nationals are comboed. Let's roll the dice and see how many times we randomize each list. Five and a one, six times. Five and a one, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We've got Alfonso on the pole and Rick in the number 28 spot. Five and a one for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and a one, six times. Diamondbacks on the pole, and the Phillies in the 28 spot. This is a great way to learn, at least for me anyway, I enjoy doing this because it's a great way to learn all the new up and coming prospects too. Alfonso with the Diamondbacks, Gabriel, you got the Marlins, Joe with the Padres, Arthur, Astros, Joe with the Angels, Greg, you have the Indians, Michael uh, Gabai with the Red Sox, Lee Keller, Last Spot Mojo, Reds, Alex Donnelly, Pirates, Kike, you have the Rangers, Shane with the Tigers, Ashley with the Mariners, Moody with the White Sox, Anthony, you got the Twins, Lionel, you have the uh, Combo Spot, Orioles and Cubs, Jeff, you have the Braves, Karen with the Royals, Michael Gallucci, the other Michael G, with the Cardinals and the Nationals, Moody with the Blue Jays, Jeff Goldenthal with the Brewers, Kip Kip Hooray with the Rockies, Moody with the Rays, uh, Josh F. with the Mets, Colin with the Giants, Darge, you got the A's, Ashley with the Yankees and Dodgers, that's pretty nice, and Rick with the Phillies, that's solid too. Let's order it by team, alphabetically, by city name. Let's print this out. Now you can trade, ladies and gentlemen. Feel free to trade. And while you're thinking about trading, as that prints out, we will select which uh, which box we're going to do. Now remember, paper base does not ship in this, so just keep that in mind here. And I'll drop a checklist for everybody so you can keep track of of what you could potentially uh, get in this break. So obviously very prospect heavy on this. That's what you're looking for. All right. Uh, let's just do top bottom. So the, it's either going to be the four boxes on top, four boxes on the bottom. One, two, three for the top row, four, five, six for the bottom row. Good luck, boxes. And it's five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll be doing the bottom row. So this we will save for random team two, which will break right after this one. So in my chicken scratch, I will write RT2. And these are the box we'll be doing right here. Any trades? Any trades? I don't see a lot of trades here. All right, so T, I'm going to type TWC into the chat, which stands for Trade Window Closed. Here is the official printout right here for Random Team 1. Thanks, everyone. Good luck. So this is my first look at it. We finally got all of our new releases today after the shipping delay, so I appreciate everyone's patience on that, too. We're looking for three chrome autographs inside, plus a ton of cards. Who do we have on the cover here? So we've got... Brett McKay for the Rays. There you go. All right. Well, let's see what we got. What's going on, TD? For the first box and the first pack, at least, for every new release. 
I like to go through everything a little bit more slowly. Yeah, is he some sort of Babe Ruth? This McKay kid? All right, so paper base like this will not be shipping, just FYI, unless they're like a numbered card or something, right, unless it's serial numbered. Stuff like this will definitely ship, the Chrome cards. There's Justice Sheffield. There's our first autograph. And that's for Lee and the Reds. The last spot mojo, Stuart Fairchild. Nice. Gabriel, what up? You uh, you picked up, you got the Marlins, and your brother got, uh, your brother got the Rangers. So there's our first autograph for Lee. So you got the standard information right here too, which I like. So once again, this paper base will not ship. But the Chrome cards will ship. So, uh, Arthur, you might be lagging behind. Arthur just saying Strohs are for trade. No, we are already in the middle of the first box. Actually, now we'll open up all these packs. The numbered paper cards we found inserted between the Chrome card section of the pack. Man, so that's what I have to look out for those. Well, our shipping team usually goes through, will go through all of this. I don't see it. Maybe I missed it. But anyhow, no, no, no. I, I appreciate that, Moody. I'll, I'll. If I miss it, our shipping team will usually catch that while they're sorting things out. No, I appreciate the help though. I haven't, I haven't had a lot of look at these yet. Oh, it's like one per box, I see, okay. Well, I shall keep an eye out. Good luck. Set this camera right about here. All right. I feel like these, sometimes these are nice refractors though, but there is Tyler Freeman. That'll be numbered 37 out of 99. Nice one for the Indians. That'll be Greg with the tribe. Greg, you got the Indians. I, I, I like the, the, they got the Twitter handle right there too. We could tweet at those guys, I guess, if we wanted to. Obviously, inserts like this will ship. I'll go to the Giants. See, that feels like it's different, that border, but. There's Royce Lewis. He's a he's a big one that we'll be looking for. First overall. So the twins, Anthony Chan, that's what that's one of the big ones he'll be looking for. Oh, there it is. Out of 150. That's uh Carl. I'm not gonna. Carl Sta Staduar. So obviously paper base like this will ship. And that will go to the Metropolitans. That'll be for Josh Filo. All right, so now we'll breeze through the paper base a little bit more quickly now that I'm getting a better idea of how this is formatted here. Luis Gonzalez at a 399. That's for the White Sox.
That'll go to Moody with the White Sox. Defining moment, that's pretty cool. It's a nice insert. Brendan Little for the Cubbies out of 150. That'll go to Leo, Lionel, with the uh, Orioles-Cubs combo. So we'll breeze through these a little more quickly now that we get a got a good idea of what we have. We saw one autograph already, looking for the, uh, for the next autograph. Should be expecting two more in this. So this is paper, 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 paper. So these refractors are not numbered, by the way, just FYI. Then there's our next autograph. Cade McClure. Nice Cade McClure for the White Sox. That is for Moody. Moody on the board early with an autograph. Let's top load this really quick, too, while we're at it. Should be expecting one more auto out of here. We'll breeze through the paper. Uh, this one right here too, out of 499. Uh, Lucas Urseg for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Jeff G. Another paper, serial number. So once again, these refractors not numbered. There's Paul's kid, Cal Quantrill. And our next auto is on the board right here. Our next auto coming up. And it's for Corbin Martin. Astros. It's for Arthur. Arthur was trying to trade the Astros. But no, instead, Arthur gets the third auto out of the first box. 56 overall pick, second rounder. We'll breeze through all this paper. Now we're just looking for some parallels. Oh, is that a bonus auto? It's one, two, three, four. Four autos. Clark Schmidt. Your blue wave auto, Clark Schmidt for the Yankees. Ashley Nelson. There you go, Ash. That's out of 150. The 16th overall pick. That's a good one. All right, gotta love those bonus autos. There's Hagen Danner out of 250, purple paper, for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Moody with the Blue Jays. It's all just paper right there. This is one of the guys that Lee Keller is looking for. I like these draft history cards. I wonder if any of those are autographed. And that's our first box, ladies and gentlemen. So a lot of parallels. Got a bonus autograph out of the first box. So great start to 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. On jazbeeshobbyland.com, we have the next uh, the next half case breaks in the store right now. So check it out. Pretty inexpensive as far as a random team break goes, and a uh, and a lot of great opportunities to go prospect hunting. Is that fake news, Hobby Pack? No, Lee's saying, Lee's saying that this is true, not fake news. The Mariners got D. Gordon? Wow. So what did they get? What, what was the, what's the, what was the, what, ah, can't talk. What was the terms of the trade?
And they're going to have D. Gordon play center field. The Mariners are. That's interesting. I guess that's one of the first big deals of the of the offseason. Ryan, what's going on? All right, so now we'll go a little bit more, uh, go a little bit more quickly. Now that we've got a good idea of what we're looking looking at, looking for here, out of four ninety nine, Marcos to plan for the Brew Crew. first autograph is going to be. Oh, we got a nice gold right here. Will Gaddis, 12 out of 50. That card is gold. Kip Kip Hooray with the Rockies. So they traded Nick Nider, the number two prospect for the Mariners, Chris Torres, number seven prospect, and David Benuelos, the number 10 catching prospect, or number 10 prospect for the Mariners, catcher for D. Gordon. Wow. So they traded three top 10 guys in their organization for D. Gordon. There's Drew Ellis for the Diamondbacks out of 399 for Alfonso with the D-backs. So they're really going for Otani is like the big is the big deal there. For the Phillies, Adam Hasley out of 99. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, international money pool. Yeah, so the Mariners are really making a big push. And the Marlins got a good haul, too. Well, hopefully he goes to the Angels. You think the Angels can really do it? They picked they picked up Kevin Maiton. That was, that was a big deal. But he, he met with the Angels for the entire day. The other teams he met just for a period of time. Whoa. He spent the whole day with the Angels. Your first autograph's for the Twins. Anthony with Brent Roker. That's out of 75. Nice. Everybody wants to play with Mike Trout. The Padres might get him too. You know the the the, the Japanese team that Otani yeah. plays for, the Padres yeah. uh, ha have them invited to spring training, I think, for the last year or so. So they've got some familiarity with each other. Oh, look at this. Mm -hmm. Mackenzie Gore. Wow, nice insert autograph. For the pod, speaking of the Padres, 74 out of 250. Let's hopefully Pujols is, retires, retires soon. next month. Joe Cavanaugh with the Padres. Nice hit, Joe. Yeah. Or is huge. Very nice hit. Yeah, that, that, that's, a, that's a big name. The Padres have a lot of, a lot of young and up-and-coming players coming up the ranks. Be good if the Padres got him. It'd be good for baseball. It would be. It'd be good for the hobby to have another big yeah. value team. Although if he was with the Yankees, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it just helps balance out a random team break. <laughs> Padres might as well go to Miami. <clears throat> but yeah, the Otani has a lot of, uh, or at least the. His former team has a lot of connections to the Padres. He had the uh, Nippon Fighters has a former trainer that works for the Padres now, so that's kind of a big deal. There's Zach Lothar out of 399 for the Orioles. That'll go to Lionel. And your next autograph is Shane Boz, the Boz. For the Pirates, that goes to Alex Donnelly. Cruz, you're looking at the good UPS news right now. Right there is fine. Thank you. All right, next up. What's our next autograph here? 
We got this guy, Colton Hawk. 148 out of 150 for the Marlins, part of the Marlins rebuild. They've added just a bunch of prospects for Dean Gordon, apparently. So the Jeter era has begun. Brendan Rogers up front. We'll start. I'm sure we'll start to see him at some point. Alex Lange is your purple paper out of 250. That's for the Cubs. That goes to Lionel. It looks like that is that. Top load all these a little bit later too. I'm safely over there. All right, we are halfway through this half case break. We've got another one coming up. Let me drop the uh, break order in the chat so you can kind of get an idea of where we're at. Yeah, I would love to do some preferred football today too, Jason because we've got all of our new releases finally here, ready to go. Well, the Hobby is saying the Marlins might be screwed if they trade Stanton. Well, I don't know if they're, I don't think they're intending to stay with Stanton. <laughs> I think they're gonna trade him too. I think, they're, I think they're just trying to start over. They know that Stanton is gone, at least, at least either this off season or uh, at least either this off season or by the trading deadline soon, he'll be gone. And I think they're just trying to get as many prospects loaded up as possible. They're just pretty much doing a big rebuild, especially with those three big top ten prospects that, or top ten Mariners organization prospects that they got for Dee Gordon. They're looking for a big haul for a stand. I think they're just going to kind of start over. They're, they are already posted, Gabriel. We have more Bowman Draft Baseball already posted on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Another two half-case random teams. All right. So this is just break number one. We are moving along nicely in this. Uh, speaking of the Mariners, as Seth Eldridge or Elledge, 316 out of 399. And Alex Fiedo for the Tigers. That's our first auto out of this box, Shane. Out of four ninety nine. Well, we can talk about that when we do a basketball break. The hobby. It'll be kind of weird to talk about Okafor in a baseball break, right? So let's. We have court kings coming up, though. We'll talk about that then. We do not have any elite extra baseball. I thought we were gonna get some of that, but we did not. This is all paper, it's not gonna ship. This will ship though, because it's numbered paper, 160 out of 499. AJ Puck, that's a nice one for the A's. So these are not serial numbered. The ones that are, as Moody pointed out earlier, the ones in between all the chrome cards, that'll generally be the serial numbered paper. That's a nice one for the A's, Darji with that one. He was your sixth overall pick back in 2016. Gold paper, another Oakland A, Kevin Merrill, 49 out of 50. <laughs> nice one, Michael House. What the puck. There's Dante's kid, 
Boba Bichette. This kind of rhymes with Boba Fett. Speaking of Boba Fett, folks, we have Star Wars Stellar on the website, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Get it before it's gone. We only have one case. Riley Mahan out of 199 for the Marlins. Marlins with another parallel Gabriel. In fact, it's right there. Star Wars Stellar right there by Tops. We got Freddie Peralta out of 250 for the Brew Crew. And out of uh, 200 is Jamai Jones for the Angels. There's Mason House. 141 out of 150, no relation to MH, I think, maybe, could be, distant, possibly. And Casey Clemens is your autograph for the Blue Jays. Nice one for the Blue Jays, that goes to Moody. There you go, Moody. Michael House saying, yeah, could be, could be, though. Now to go to the Padres. There's Mitch Keller. Ooh, mm, Troy Bacon. Who doesn't like bacon? I guess vegetarians, I suppose. Mitch Keller, Mitch Keller, no relation to Lee Keller, says Lee. And another Blue Jay autograph, Logan Warmoth. Nice. Moody with another Blue Jay auto. Out of 250. A 22nd overall pick. Nice. Getting jiggy with it. Get it? All right, last box, folks. You come for the breaks, you stay for the jokes. All right, last one. Good luck, everybody. We're going to be doing the other half in, uh, in just a second. So after we do this, I'm going to put this break away, and then we'll move on to we'll move on to the next one. Good luck, everyone. This is a pretty quick break. You know, this only took us about it probably take us about thirty. I'll bet the next one will be a little bit faster. I think this break will probably be done in about another five minutes or so. Probably bring us to about the 35 minute mark, maybe 40 minute mark on the break. Next one should be a little bit quicker than that because already already did the randomizer for the boxes and whatnot. So got the next two half cases available on jazbeeshobbyland.com right now. So we can we can run this back multiple times. We've got plenty of these cases, and I know this is going to be a pretty popular product for the next however long until we run out. Basically, this is a pretty evergreen product. Everyone loves prospect hunting in this stuff. All right, good luck, everybody. Final box of random team break number one. I'll breeze through this paper. A lot of those refractors, they'll all ship, but uh, they're not numbered, just FYI. That's why I'm kind of breezing by those. There's our autograph, Joe Perez, Astros. It's another one for Arthur. Arthur was trying to trade those Astros. But instead, he ends up with two autographs. Maybe more.
We've got purple paper, Clark Schmidt, out of uh, 250, the 16th overall pick. That'll go to the Yankees. That'll go to Ashley. Another one for Ashley. And Trevor Rogers for the Marlins. 88 out of 99. The 13th overall pick going to Gabriel and the Marlins. Nice one, Gabe. Nice green parallel. Kind of matches the uniform really nicely. <laughs> yeah, so definitely some good color coming out, says Lee. Yeah, I agree. A lot of good, a lot of nice parallels. There's your other autograph, Mariners, Evan White. Mariners going to Ashley. There you go, Ashley. There's your 17th overall pick. It's pretty strong. That is number. There you go. There's Nick Gordon. That's Dee's brother, who's just got traded to the Mariners. And Tom's kids. That's out of 499. Anthony with the twins. Yeah, it looks like that Jeter down's not gonna be. May not be here. We already got the three autographs. Unless there's a bonus auto Lee. We did see one in the first box. Or the second, but whatever. We saw it in one of the boxes. Let's hope for a bonus auto. Nick Rackett, 81 out of 250 for the Nationals. That goes to the Cardinals-Nationals combo. That'll be uh, Michael Gallucci. Anderson Tejeda out of 200. For the Rangers, that'll be for Kike Hernandez, Gabe Bro. Breeze through this paper, 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 paper. And Ernie Clement, 369 out of 399. For the Indians, a little something for Greg. Looks like one more parallel before we close things out. Blue paper, Christian Stewart, 91 out of 150 for the Tigers. That'll be for Shane. It looks like that. My friends, is that first random team break in the books. Next one coming up in just a few moments. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time for the next one.